Welcome back. And today we're going to be considering the Zoom H8 as a viable and the one tool that every saxophonist needs for recordings. Find out now. So we're in the app right now. This is a Zoom Guitar Lab app. And what I have found in this app is incredible. It connects to your PC or your MacBook. This is actually connected to a Mac. And what you have is that it pops up on top of the screen, Zoom H8, and you have the effects page, the patch page, and the editor page. This is where the editor lives. And the beauty about the editor is that you have three different effects you can put in. You can put in a bit more, but I don't really know how to do that yet. And you can change the sequence of the events, just like a, like a guitar player, basically. So you could be a guitar player in your own terms, and you could even change the, the beats per minute, the, the, the speed, the frequency, rather of the of the effects that you put in there's a tuning so that's me singing right there and i changed my voices and it picks the pitch i'm on and if i'm tuning my saxophone that would be an excellent tool to just get myself on pitch before i actually start recording i don't use the guitar lab app open while I play but this is actually a good way to set your presets on before you remove it from the computer and just record by yourself in the with the device so you have different presets they give you a wow pop chorus um, b wow b man eg singer tap t brass and sax for all now that is my favorite so far now I still have to, to tweak it a bit more so you see I have a filter a general eq a delay and a reverb on there so these mini effects under are the reason that we get to have sounds layered. And I don't understand why we have four patches here, but up there it shows three. I still don't know how that works yet. I'm still trying to figure that out. But when I do, for sure, I'll let you guys know. And what you can actually do right now, I tried that button, but nothing really came out of that. So let's go on to the news. Um, this is the last page on there. You see different feeds and it tells me that you can't connect to the internet. I have to connect the internet to see patches. So I am connected, so I can see more patches. And I have downloaded quite a few more patches onto the device. I've actually used about 84% of its memory. So these are some presets I made. Podcast patch for my podcast, the AAK podcast. And the bass intro, which I tried to set up for a bass guitar. Not the most wonderful one. But now this is a new patch I'm going to create. I'm going to call it, please subscribe. Okay, let me just call it subscribe. So remind it to you to please subscribe to this channel if you like what you see, if you like this insight that no one else has given you so far about the Zoom H8 and other tech. Just subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up, a like, something you like about it, or something you don't like, you can leave a thumbs down and a comment too. That actually helps me get better at doing what I do and to get the content out to you in musical kinetics. So I'm going to create an effects on the subscribe. I'm going to create a cabinet. I really don't know what this cabinet is. You might be more knowledgeable than me about that. But what I'm just going to do is just going to layer the different sounds. And at the end of the day, see how it sounds. If it sounds nice, then good. If it doesn't sound nice, then I tweak it and make it better. And I can do all this from the Zoom H8 by itself. I'm going to add some reverb to it. And look at it. It uses a 70% processor. And I try to add a th another effects, but it just didn't let me click on. So I think the max up there is 3. But there has to be a way you can add more. I'm not sure yet. So let's try another effect. You can always change it up. You can go to anything else. You can put in other things. But you can come back. I just like to use HD Hall for this particular sound setup. And of course, remember, you can always change the sequence of the effects. And reverb. I'm increasing my reverb a bit. The pre and the decay. And just making this, it sound really intense. Because the sound of a saxophone is the most important part about his playing. Yes, the technique is, okay, not the most important, but actually the most important. The sound from you and the sound from your system. So honing in a good sound by yourself and honing in a great sound in your equipment is going to help you a long way so that when you ever you play, you know you're playing something really good. So the clip, I really don't understand the clipboard yet, but I was able to move like three different things onto the clipboard. And the clipboard, I wasn't able to drag that and drop that anywhere else. I am not really that familiar with Zoom. Guitar Labs, but clearly some other other tracks. I was able to add like five effects on the bass intro. Maybe I did these guys using the app on the actual Zoom recorder itself. Maybe that's why I can add some more effects to it. So I'll try that with the Zoom recorder itself, and maybe I can add some more effects on from there. 
but I couldn't do it from the app itself on the computer, which is kind of strange. So the clip really doesn't do much as far as I'm concerned so far. I tried to drag it onto a new project. It just didn't let me do that. So I just gave up on that and I decided to do other tests. Um, I decided to do some clips and I was like, okay, so let's come back to a project that is actually has some clips and see if we could get some new things up and going. Okay, now, so we're back to the subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification button. That really helps a lot, so please do that. We're growing, our goal is to get past that 1,000 mark and get that 40,000 hours. Let's keep growing, let's keep growing, let's keep growing and keep sharing, working on our sound. So I did three clips on there and they still haven't figured out what to do with the clipboard. If you know what to do with the clipboard, how to make it work, please leave that in the comments. I will definitely love to hear your feedback because this is a video I've not seen anyone make yet about the Zoom H8 using Guitar Labs. I think some guitarists are very familiar with the Guitar Lab software. Those are use some of their effect pedals that also use this particular site. I like that Sax Aid Wow and Sax G EQ, General EQ. These are some of the effects on there and they're separate into different presets. But guitarists will be more familiar with this software and really saxophonists really steal instruments from guitarists and from vocalists because vocalists have similar tools as saxophonists will need and the guitarists have cooler tools than the saxophonist has so why not just copy them, right? So, um... If you want to be a good saxophonist, a great saxophonist, you got to learn to adapt to the tech that other saxophonists have used and other guitarists have used and other people have used. So that is an intro to Guitar Labs on the saxophone. And now you got to hear a sound sample to see, rather to hear what it sounds like in some um, presets on the Zoom H8.